Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell, this is going to be a general reading for my lovely Aquarius. This can be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or Lilith, you name it. Or you can just be curious. There's nothing wrong with that. Let's go ahead and get started, my loves. Open minds, open hearts. Um, I've already pulled all the cards because I want to make sure I was in focus um, before we started filming. So um, this is going to be a general reading. So it's just whatever comes out. Time is fluid. Um, so this could be current energy, past, future energy. Um, love could come out. When I say love, I mean romantic love or it could not, okay? Um, so coming out first, we have King of Pentacles, okay? Um, so finances could be heavily on your mind right now, okay? Um, I get a sense of you trying to master finances, Aquarius. Um, you could be dealing with the Taurus, okay? Because that's for the minor arcana. You don't have to be. Um... But this is not only like monetary, it's also like prosperity and abundance, I feel, okay? Um, so you're very prosperous, okay? Um, and you're working towards being more abundant in life, I'm hearing, okay? You or somebody else could be healing from heartbreak, okay? Um, that could be getting in your way of love right now, Aquarius, or it could not be a focus, okay? Because I'm seeing right now that um, your current energy is King of Pentacles, okay? You could have some Taurus in your chart, but you don't have to. Um, so that's your primary focus. It seems to be self as well, too, okay? Um, you're looking for some type of wish fulfillment, okay? It could be in regards to somebody. It could be in regards to your um, your finances, I'm hearing, Okay. Um, but I get a strong, like, spiritual sense from you, Aquarius, okay? Um, just when we think of the energy of Aquarius, a lot of times if you guys are um, pursuing career goals, it's heavily tied to, like, a purpose, okay? So I don't think that this is only about money. I think it's a little bit bigger than that for you, okay? So I think it's going to bring you a lot of, like, um, inner peace, I'm hearing, okay? And a lot of wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups, okay? You could be healing from a heartbreak, okay? You guys could have recently uh, broke up with someone. This could have been right now. It could be past energy, okay? Or this could be something that you're thinking of doing in, in the near future, I'm hearing, okay? Your potential challenge is not to move too hasty, okay? Or this could be somebody coming towards you, Aquarius, okay? With your potential outcome being the Ten of Cups emotional fulfillment. Okay, so this could be tied to your career, okay? You could be shifting into a new career path that's going to bring you um, more emotional fulfillment. With the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, it might not be moving as fast as you want it to be, okay? Um, so take your time, okay? Um, be very... Uh, create a plan, okay? Um strategize i'm hearing that's the word i'm trying to get to okay strategize okay um make sure that you cross all your t's and you dot all your i's okay um that's gonna bring you into this emotional fulfillment okay the energy is really good for you but it seems to be like a hold on your love life um you could be focusing more on self-care that's more of like an intuitive message um i get from the three of swords okay um Whatever you're doing is going to uh, bring you balance, okay? Also, there's a need for you. I'm going to double back. There's a need for you to focus on being emotionally fulfilled, okay, in life. Um, whether that's your career or whether that's your love life um, or in your connections. Um, if you're not already doing that, and you could be, there's a strong need for you to focus on being emotionally fulfilled, okay? So how does it make you feel, okay? And I know that that should be something... That should be like a priority for us always, okay? Um, or must always, but sometimes it's not, especially for Aquarius energy. And I said it with love. I'm an Aquarius myself, okay? We don't tend to focus on, it depends. It depends on what you have in your chart, but we don't tend to focus on being emotionally fulfilled, okay? And it may not be an Aquarius thing. It might, it might be like a... I don't want to say it because I know I know everyone doesn't feel that way. It's a lot of people who focus on being emotionally fulfilled, okay, um, and what makes them feel good, okay. But there's a strong need for you to focus on how it makes you feel, okay. And if it makes you feel good, if it does make you feel good, it's a no, okay. And that might be the energy that you're in, or that's what um, 
it's the most high divine spirit however you call it god um the universe is calling you to be in that energy of emotional fulfillment okay and that's going to bring you balance and also that's going to manifest um more prosperity and abundance in your life okay um not only in regards to career but also overall um in your life okay um let's see i'm kind of doing a different kind of spread i usually do like a your energy versus their energy um i kind of want to focus more on self honestly in regards to my readings going forward so um i think i'm gonna pull like maybe a few cards for your person's energy okay I'm called to pull one more card and then we'll read whoever's coming towards you or who's ever that you're thinking about right now, okay? I think that it's more important that, in, well, how can I put this? In order for us to cultivate the energy that we want in our life, we have to first cultivate that within ourselves, okay? And then that will manifest or we'll see it in our reality okay in layman's terms all right so in your person's energy they have four pinnacles they have number 19 the sun and then they have five swords okay um you could be dealing with the earth sign a leo or you could be dealing with the air sign you don't have to be okay it could just be the energy um they're holding back, okay? Um, they could be saving, okay? So it could be a few different scenarios, okay? They could be focused on finances as well as you, okay? Um, they could have some financial issues as well, or they're trying to save up for something, okay? It could be a house. It could be to date you. Um, they could be saving for the right time or waiting for the right time. I'm here. That's more of like an intuitive message, but they could feel that it isn't the right time, Okay. And I believe that Venus in retrograde ended today, if I'm not mistaken, okay? So that could be, if you notice that you haven't been able to like get things started in your love life, it's going to be really hard collectively to kind of cultivate that energy, okay? So it'll feel like that you're like swimming upstream, I'm hearing, okay? Um, because the, the energy just isn't there for that, okay? Um, intuitively, how I feel. It's more of like a time for, uh, it's reflecting in your love life, okay? And reflecting in your personal life, okay? And and how you kind of want to uh, cultivate that energy in your life right now, okay? Not really taking action and pursuing. Um, Leo is kind of based, it's a fire sign. So it's more action oriented typically um, when it comes to romance and things like that. But it's, it's a retrograde, okay? Um, so you might see some things changing, okay? But we are in like a Mercury machine, so it's a lot of a lot of retrogrades, right? Um, I don't think, and I'm not like a, I'm not like a, what do you call it? Uh, astrologer, I think. I think whatever like studies the planets, okay? So Google it, okay, to make sure or however you find the information, okay? Just to confirm, okay? Um, isn't over until like I think maybe mid September, okay, September twenty second maybe, or a little bit before or after, okay. But double check that, okay. So you may not get like clarity till like mid September, October, okay. Maybe even like the holiday time. I know that's really far, y'all, but I know, I know, I know. Sometimes we don't want to hear those things, um, but it seems like that you're more focused on finances, okay. But you know, you could still be focused on love right now. Um, but number 19, uh, the sun car, okay? So they're holding back from happiness, I'm getting intuitively, okay? From joy, from prosperity, from abundance, okay? And that could be, when we talk of uh, the sun energy, that could be you, okay? Because we talked about in the reading about you being very abundant, very prosperous, okay? But they're holding back from the energy, okay? They are in a two of minds, okay? um regret about something too it could it could be with you okay so this could be somebody you already know okay or it could be somebody new if it's somebody new then they're in regret of how their love life has been going thus so far okay um and they kind of want to do things differently going forward i'm hearing all right 
if it's a person you already know, they're in regret about something that they that they've done or that happened between you guys, okay? So they're holding back, okay, from prosperity. I don't know if they've come to this conclusion yet, okay? They feel like they could have caused you some type of heartbreak, okay? Um, I feel like after Mercury retrograde, they could be possibly rushing in towards you with the cherry card. Okay, or finding balance within the cells or finding balance within the connection. And I say that right underneath it is the star card, which is you, okay? So they want to fight for it with the nine of wands. They could be tired of fighting for it. Or you could be tired of fighting for it. It's causing them a lot of sleepless nights, okay? A lot of uh, mental anguish, okay? They're going to make a judgment call, I'm hearing, all right? Um, more balance. Also not of, uh, it's letting down their guard, I'm hearing, okay? With the strength self-explanatory, finding strength, finding inner courage, okay, inner power, okay, to follow their heart, all right, they could be tapping more into, like, um, their higher self, okay, they could feel left out in the cold, but they can get through this energy, okay, um, they want to cultivate something new, um, they're trying to manifest something new, okay, uh, they want to start a new cycle with you. They could be ending a new cycle with the death and rebirth, okay? Um, they want to work on the relationship or I could go on and on and on, okay? But you may see um, something different from your person, whoever you're thinking about, or a pickup in your love life um, during the month of September, uh, closer towards October, I'm hearing, okay? Let's get a lover's oracle. I kind of wanted to keep these readings short, but... We'll take that one. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others, okay? Um, so you could have pulled back yourself, Aquarius. Um, you could feel like that there's no need for you to take action um, in this connection anymore. Um, you could feel that it's um, you've done enough, okay? And that uh, you want to preserve your energy and put it towards something that's more beneficial towards you, okay? Um, you could have other priorities I'm hearing right now, okay? Something could have happened in your career, okay? Um, or you could be wanting to make a career change or there could just be a need for more finances for whatever reason, okay? You'll know how that resonates for you. Um, for your lesson card, you got abundance. Um, I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in the physical reality, okay? So I think you're understanding truly spiritually what does it mean to be abundant and prosper, uh, prosperous, excuse me, okay? We picked up a lot on that in the beginning of the reading, all right? Let's go ahead and get a positive affirmation and we'll close the reading. I'm going to take this one, Okay. It says things always work out for me, okay? I'm going to speak it two, two more times, my loves, excuse me, to speaking into existence. Things always work out for me. Things always work out for me. I shame you, so it shall be. All right, so um, you could be going through a very challenging time right now, okay? Um, but keep your head up, okay? Very positive cards, honestly. Besides the three of swords, um, you could be working through something emotionally or something mentally, okay? So make sure that you keep... Uh, Keep a clear mind, okay? Or or uh, you could, uh, this is intuitive, but you could be wanting clarity on something, okay? So make sure that we're practicing like activities and exercises or um, getting the help we need or, or uh, finding resources that are going to like uh, keep us grounded and uh, lead us to mental clarity, okay? Whatever that means for you, all right? But things always work out for you, okay? So there's nothing to worry about. Um, everything will be okay, Aquarius, okay? I know I, it's hard for us to see that when, when we're going through like challenging cycles, but you know, I think it's always good to reflect on what you overcome um, and know if you did it then, and then you can always do it now, okay? Um, I'm getting a little tongue-tied, all right? <laughs> Um, you could be nervous about something. Somebody coming towards you could be nervous about something, okay? Um, it could be very fast. I'm feeling a very, like, hasty energy, okay? Um, they may not know what to say. They may say some things that they shouldn't say, okay? Um, because they're in such a hasty energy, okay? Um, they could be very emotional as well, too, all right? So, my loves, that is all I have for you today, okay? So, if this reading resonated with you, 
or if you just simply enjoyed it, please let me know in the comment section below. I love to hear from you guys. Um, also, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Um, and most importantly, my loves, if you have not heard this today, you are loved and you're cherished. Until next time, my loves, bye-bye.